Hello. Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to the next session of SAP ABAP on Honey Training Series. And thank you for choosing JK Tutorials. So in the last session, in previous session, we have discussed about the CDS views. Okay, in the just last session, we have discussed just about the security in CDS view. Uh, see in the DCL language, what is data control language, okay? How can we create the authorization? How can we create authorization object, authorization class? How can we create the role? And then how can we assign that role to the user? Okay, so in this this session, <coughs> we will see what are the aggregate expressions can be used. Okay, so what are the aggregate expressions? As all of you know, like these are like some uh, submission, uh, minimum, maximum to find out the minimum of the sales. Okay, so maximum and average. So this is all about aggregation. So what is this aggregation? Is if I will go there. So <coughs> and these expressions, aggregate expressions can be used as elements okay uh, of a select list we will use this in our to our selection list only okay and the most important thing is they <coughs> need an alternative okay what is this alternative element they need one alternative element name defined which is defined using as keyword okay using act uh, means you can say this to require one alias name okay and what is that required is and require a group by a close okay group by close whenever we will be using this we have to use, whenever we will be using this aggregation agree expressions we have to use this group by close group by all the fields on which you are not performing any aggregation function aggregation expression okay close to be used okay so we will discuss about first we will discuss find out the minimum then maximum then some we will see okay then count okay then what is this count will do it will determine the number of reports and what it will do is give the submission only okay determine the sum after grouping okay Okay, then this maximum is minimum maximum same defines the determines the largest value. Okay, and this one determines the the minimum value. Okay, let's and one more thing we will discuss about last one is AVG, which is our average. Okay, it will determines the average of values okay values of okay after combination okay it will determine the values of the average of the values okay so without wasting my time let's log into the eclipse system yeah one second this is my eclipse look in there right click click on new then Click on other repository object, go to data definition. Okay, select the data definition next. Then select the Z CDS aggregation functions. Okay, like aggregation in CDS views. Click on next. Oh, sorry, guys, click on next and click on finish. Okay. It will take some time. So first we will discuss about the minimum. How can you find out the minimum? Till then let me log into the backend system. Okay, one second. We go there. So what we will do is uh sixteen and for example, we are having our EKPO table. This is our EKPO table. Okay. So here you can see the purchase for one purchase document number, there can be multiple items. For example, the requirement is if you want to find out a network, okay, the network for this purchasing document. Okay. What we want is network for this purchasing document to okay, some of this network. So firstly, we want is we see the minimum network for this purchasing document. Okay. 
second. I just like this. Okay, that's the right now. For example, this is my net value. If I will go there, this is my net value. What I want is I want the minimum of this purchasing document net sales. Okay, net value. What I can do is let's go there. Okay, aggregation in PDF view. This is my this what is this? This is my description only. Okay, let's give the name and then each of you go there. Okay? For example, you will use the EBLM. Okay, let's use the network. Okay, what it will do is that's all. Save this and then check this and then finally activate this. Okay, what is that? Okay, sorry, we have to give the school view name also. We well, we yeah, check this and then activate. This. Activate it, right click, run as. I will go to a web application. So, this is all right about this. Thing, okay, so what we can do now is for example, first requirement is I want to find out the minimum network for this purchasing document number. Simple, what I will do is I will go there. I will have the min, okay. I will close this out as minimum underscore sales, okay. And what I was telling you is we have to use the group by clause for the fields which we are not using or which we are not performing the aggregation function, okay. Group by maybe ELM, okay. Save this and then finally activate this. Right click. Run as go to adapter application. You can see, guys, only the minimum sales for this is 360. Let me go to back end and just verify this. Here, if I will go there, you can see this is the 360, the minimum sales for this. Okay, once again, this one is the minimum for sales for this purchasing document number. Okay, so this is what we can find out to do this. Okay, so this is the minimum sales. For example, if we want to find out the maximum sales, okay. What I can do is simple. I will go there next network. Okay. As maximum underscore 10. That's all, guys. Okay. Save this, check this, and then finally activate this. Right click, run as, go to application. You can see we have find out the maximum sale, which is 780. If I will go to the and you can see page seven. Oh, look here from here to here, seven eight is the minimum sale. Okay, so this is what we can find out using this maximum. Okay, next here. Okay, is this clear? For example, <coughs> if we want to find out the sum of this all the net value, okay, what we can do just directly write there as not but as sum. Okay, what is this thing? One second, guys. Yeah, of course, this error is coming here. It is unexpected keyword. Okay, so what it is thinking is it is some we cannot use the same keyword over there also. Just change the once again, change this name to the something else as some sales sum. Okay, sales sum. Okay, that will go. Save this, check this, and then finally activate this. Right click, run as ABP application. You can see we have found out the sales of the sum. Okay, guys, they have added this all. I will go in the back end. Added this all and give us the, all the sales for this EPL for this purchasing document number. So, this is how we can find out the submission of all the sales through this. It is clear, guys. Now, we have found out this minimum, maximum sales. Okay. Now, what we can do is we can also use this <coughs> for every keyword, every of this network. Okay, I can directly write here as yes, average sales. Okay, average value. 
save this, simply check this, and then finally activate it. Right click, run and enter the application. You can see it has found out the average value. Or what is the formula of average value? As all of you know, total number, okay. Sum of the numbers, okay, and in the down, we have to give the numbers, okay, number of values, okay, summation of this and the number of values, okay. This is how we can easily find out the summation for this, okay. Look guys, how easy is this? And uh, through this uh, serious view, how easy is all this process? Previously, what we used to do is we used to fetch the data into a replication layer, then do the processing. But now, look how good, how amazing is this, and uh, so this is what about this about average, okay. Just one second. <laughs> yeah, so if I want to find out how many material numbers are there inside this one purchasing document number, what I can do is comment this out first, okay? And I will go there, nothing. I will write the keyword as count, okay? Distinct. What is my match now? As total total map now. Okay, how many material numbers is there? Save this and then finally activate this. Right click, run as ABFP application. You can find, see here, how many total numbers are there. Okay, for example, just to check this one and for two is three. If I will go in the back end, here you can see, uh, here we are having the same material. Okay. I think there is some issue, issue with this data. Okay, leave that. So here, how many uh, material numbers are there? One, two, and then three. So for this purchasing document number, uh, they, here we are having three values over there. Okay, so this is what we can found out, the total numbers of the values over there. This is all about minimum, maximum, submission, every average, and the count. And this all, we will discuss more about in our coming up session whenever we will be using the inner drawing okay association at that time we will discuss more about this okay we will see this in our real time scenario also so and then yeah so this is all about aggregation expression okay i hope this one is clear to everyone guys yeah okay then that's all for this session have a good day bye bye